Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from ComputerGarGar.com and in this video we are going to look at an Excel VBA challenge that I thought I would offer to you guys so that you can have a crack at it. Now it's a challenge that was offered um, on YouTube by one of my subscribers, uh, a guy called Gareth and he posted this question uh, on YouTube himself uh, but then um, asked me on one of my videos to kind of get involved and to have a look uh, if I would spare the time. Uh, so I did and I thought I would offer it out to you guys. So for any of you who are beginning to learn Excel VBA, you always want to have these challenges and stuff to kind of push your skills and have examples and get that practice in. And this is a kind of simple looping technique so it's a good one for you to have you know, to get your teeth stuck into. So let me explain uh, what is required here and then what I'll also do is in the description of this video I will include a link to this file so you can download and get access to this file. it will be in the description below this video uh, right now. I'll also offer a link to um, Gareth's explanation himself so you can watch the video that he posed. Um, you may prefer his explanation to mine, I don't know. I'm going to put, give you my interpretation right now. Uh, then you guys, if you're interested, you can pause this video or close it down, have a go at the challenge, download the file, have a go, come back and have a look at what I have to offer. <laughs> uh, which may be better or worse than what you have to offer, but it gets the job done. Now this is what was needed. We have two lists that have been generated in some way. Uh, coming from two different systems and they need comparing. Now the way Gareth wanted this done is starting from row 2 here, the first one, we wanted to compare the two cells and if they're the same, like they are in row 2, then leave it alone. Move to the next row, compare that one. Now if they're not the same, like row 3, the behaviour is in column B here, the second list, is to insert a cell so that we get a blank and shift those down so that the cell that was in B3 there is now in the one below so that I can test it against the next record. So we move a row down and test it. Now we're testing these two, A4 and B4, they are the same, leave it alone next row. They're not the same, so in list two, insert a blank, shift the cells down, move down to the next row. Test it, they're the same, next row. Test it, they're the same, next row. Test it, they're the same, next row. And so on. And if they're not the same, insert a blank in list two. So that is the behavior. So it's this looping technique through to the bottom of the of column A is where we want to go. Where column A ends, that is the end. So we have to detect that. Perform a test each time, are they the same? And a reaction to insert a cell in column B if they're not. That is the challenge. So at this point, if you can go and pause this video, download that file and have a go if you want. Uh, resume this video when you have the opportunity, when you have it cracked or you want to see what I have to offer. Okay, so this is what I have. Let me just undo those steps. If I go to the developer tab and click my visual basic button, here is my code. So I have declared a variable to track the row number, giving it the data type of long. So if this list was very, very large, the variable can handle it. I've then initialized it with number two to start from row two. I've got these screen updating lines. I've also got a message box at the moment, which is not essential for this challenge, but you know they're in there um, as a typical framework that I do. The important thing here is in the middle we have this loop. So I've gone for a do while loop. There are many methods. And I've also gone for the cells object, as I'm a fan of that. So I'm saying do while column A is not blank. Basically, so do while there's something in there. The uh, data that Gareth sent me, uh, there were no blanks in column A. So it was reliable, or I'm assuming it's reliable based on the, the data I received. And I'm using that to locate the end of it. Using the cells object here, the row number 2, 1, so basically A2, really. Column 1, row 2. 
And then within this loop, I've got this little incrementer to increase the row number each time. So it'll be row three, row four, row five, as it loops down here. For each row, I have a little if statement performing the test. If column A is not the same as column B, then insert A cell. And I've made sure that the cells are shifted down, which is important for this to work, so that you can test it again in the next row. And that is the code that I've got. Uh, so if I was to close that down and go back to my spreadsheet, and uh, I've got this button here to run that macro. So if give that a click, there's my message. They've been compared successfully. And you may remember me talking about this bit at the start in my description. I can see that's now done. There's, these are all the same. They're exactly the same. And there's blanks for where they were not all the way down to the bottom of this file. So that is what I have. Uh, hopefully you guys have done something different. There are many ways of uh, achieving this. And as I said at the start, I'm offering that out there because those of you who are new to VBA or you want to learn VBA, this is a great little challenge to get started with, to learn those fundamental skills like if statements and loops and variables and, um, yeah, and typical Excel tasks like inserting cells and stuff. It's a great way to get started and to get that kind of practice in. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please check out some of our other videos on our YouTube channel and uh, come check us out at computergargar.com.